What's going on folks? It's Blue with Blue's Collectibles coming back at you with another video. Today is going to be a special video. We're going to be doing a PSA submission preview. I'm going to be sending out another another order to PSA and we're going to be using Nash card. And I will show you guys my laptop over here. Uh, the Nash card, the way they're set up. Um, get the lighting here a little bit better for that. One second. Um, and like I said, for Nash cards, pretty much they do um, a couple... Uh, types of orders you got bulk uh, ultra or ultra modern 2017 and current $16 per card um, you've got the 1972 to 2016 $11 per card and there's a turnaround times you see 45 days 45 days um, you got bulk vintage 1971 and older $10 per card and declared value under 99 bucks uh, economy all cards which is $25 per card uh, 20 day and the declared value is under $4.99. And then you got the standard all cards, $55 per card, a 10-day turnaround, and declared value of under $1,000, or $9.99. So I'm going to go through the uh, Nash cards this time around. I'm going to fix my lighting back here just a tad. I'm going to go through Nash cards this time around. Um, I've tried I've tried the card collector 2 grading, uh, and that, my order's still waiting there. I should be getting those cards back here in the next, I'd say, couple months just depending on how backed up PSA really is but um, that was a smooth process with them definitely go check them out again if you guys are looking for another route for uh, sending in cards which is card collector 2 underscore grading on their Instagram go check them out too I'm gonna try Nash card out this time I've been seeing a lot of good stuff coming from their Instagram page at, at Nash cards um, I follow them on there and they've been um, getting some pretty pretty nice cards so I feel like I'll jump in and uh, send a PSA order out to them just give it a shot but today I did a, um, a preview of uh, my predictions here on this piece of paper, and I'll guys will show you the grades after I show the cards and what I think they will get. So we can do a um, you know a blind reveal and see if my grades was close to what PSA does, which <laughs> it could be bad. I mean, it could be bad, you know, or it um, I could be dead on, but I'd say probably not dead on. I'm not a professional grader, but I've, I've been getting a little bit better at it. I've been, um, you know, cleaning the cards, trying to check them over for centering better, surface issues, things of that nature. But, guys, we'll go ahead and jump right in. I've got a, um, let's see here. Let me count my cards. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven card order. And I'm going to be sending this um, one of these cards out by itself. Maybe do a 10-day or a 20-day, just depending on um, what I think the declared value of that is. That being said, guys, we'll go ahead and jump into the first card. If you guys are a follower to the channel, you guys see me pull this and get <laughs> super excited. The Zion Williamson um, Mosaic Prism. Um, I, I, I think they call it a Silver Prism uh, Mosaic, but I think I've just been seeing on like um, you know PSA. They call it on the tab. They call it PSA. I mean uh, Zion Williamson Rookie Mosaic uh, Prism. So I guess it's a Mosaic Prism. Prism Mosaic, whatever you want to call it. I'm not good with all these names. I've got so many names for these cars, but I'm definitely going to send this one in. I think the declared value of this one, Raw, I've been searching eBay comps since, and shout out Sold For app. Go definitely go over there and install that, and they give the um, eBay comps, uh, you know, completed items, sold items, what they think the card or what the card actually sold for, including with shipping. So definitely go over and, and follow um, and uh, download the app Sold For. This is the Zion Williamson, and I think this card will get a 10. Now, I looked it over. I cleaned it over. I tried to find any blemishes that I could with the naked eye and just looking it over with the lighting and, uh, you know, cleaned it over. This one, I, my prediction, the blue prediction, blues picks, I think I get a, a 10 on this one. I think I, I really do think it's a 10. I think it's a flawless card. I don't see any kind of blemishes at all on it. The back. You know, it looks tremendous as well, which PSA doesn't take into consideration on the back, like centering-wise. And really, truly, I don't know 100% how they grade centering on some of these mosaics. It's hard to tell, really, maybe by the rookie card logo or something. I don't know for sure. But I'm thinking just with the naked eye and cleaning this card over, I think it gets a 10. Set that one down here. Next card, now we're going to move over to football. And this one is going to be a Justin Herbert base mosaic. And with my prediction on this one, I think it gets a nine. I was cleaning it over, and it's hard to see on the camera here. There's a small little scratch right there, if you see it. I, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I was trying to clean it and clean it and clean it, and it would not come off. So I think this one actually gets a nine. Now, PSA potentially could look this over and may determine it's a 10. I don't know, but it, may you guessing, I think it gets a nine, honestly. 
awesome looking card. I, I'll clean it. Other than that little blemish, that little small blemish there, I think it, um, I think it gets a ten. But I, an honesty, or honestly, I think it gets a ten. Honestly, Justin Herbert mosaic base, nice looking card though for sure. Next, we're going to move back into the basketball, and this one's a card I've had for a little while, just not sent it in, just, you know, been debating on sending it in and, and what have you there, but I've finally decided to send it in. My Mitchell Robinson uh, Prism Silver, Silver Prism uh, Mitchell Robinson. This card, this card is in excellent condition, excellent condition. The rookie card of Mitchell Robinson, this dude has a high, high upside. You know, he's on the Knicks. That's my team I cheer for in the NBA. He does good. I think him and RJ is a good building block uh, for that team to, you know, make some noise there in the postseason. I think those are the two guys. And Kevin Knox, shout out Kevin Knox, BBN, my good boy from Kentucky. Uh, I think he's a, a, another piece to that team that helps him um, go far in the uh, playoffs. But Mitch Robinson Silver, I think this car is in excellent condition. I predicted this card would be a 10. But looking it over, I didn't really see any kind of scratches or surface issues at all. The centering looks pretty great for what I can tell. Uh, you know, again, I'm a little bit new to, you know, sending in the cards and, you know, determining centering and stuff like that. But by the naked eye, this card looks pretty good, pretty well centered, I'd imagine. Um, you know, Mitchell Robinson Silver, I think this one, uh, I think we'll get a 10 based on the Blues picks and the Blues predictions on that one. Next, moving on into football again, uh, we got a Tua Tagovailoa rookie card. And this is the mosaic base I've pulled. A lot of the, all these, pretty much all these cards I've self pulled. I think I actually did a trade with uh, uh, Michael Hensley there. Shout out to MH Show. I had a Trey Young Silver, and he's a, a really a big Hawks collector. Uh, so and I traded him a uh, Trey Young Silver for the Mitchell Robinson Silver. Just helps out both of us, our favorite teams, you know, and stuff like that. Now going back with a Trey Silver, uh, you know, I may not have did that, but at the time. Um, you know, you could actually go into and to uh, stores and buy prison basketball and not have to worry about anything, but uh, it's a whole different story today. But this one here, the Tua, I really didn't see anything wrong with this one. I'm going to give this one, uh, I think this one will get a 10 as well. Um, I cleaned it over, didn't really see any kind of scratches at all. Again, centering with mosaic, I don't know how they'll determine that. I've not seen any, any mosaic cards to get graded. So I don't know how they actually determine that. So, but I, with the naked eye though, and cleaning the card, I think it does get a ten. Honestly, really do. Uh, next here we've got a CD Lamb, and this one is going to be a the reactive blue. I think they call it the reactive blue or red. You guys can comment there uh, below. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's reactive blue. CD Lamb mosaic. I love this card. Um, definitely sitting this in me for grading. I think this one will get a nine. I was looking over this card, and, I, and I'm not sure, you guys, if you can see that that line right here. I don't know if that is a printing line or or just how that's the card's actually made. I'm not 100% sure, but just for that reason, I did give it a 9 because I don't know for sure. I've not got a whole lot of reactive uh, blue cards, so I really can't determine if that's something normal or, or what. But I, based on that, though, other than that, that line right here, if you guys can see that, that line right here i'm not sure if that's a printing line or some kind of thing that mosaic they just have for every card i don't know for sure but with that determination i am going to give it a nine next card is going to be a, another cd lamb and this one's a green mosaic uh, i've self-pulled both of these on the on the channel here you guys can go back and look at the break see where i self-pulled these um and i think this card again this this green mosaic will get a nine as well honestly again this printing line here it just may be I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just kind of clueless in that part. I don't know if, if, again, if that's how the card is made or or what. But again, this one has it too. Again, so it may be something that, I mean, that mosaic, they just, you know, they that's how their cards look on those uh, variations. I don't know. But just for that factor, though, I am going to give them both a nine. Other than that, though, other than that printing line, I think they, uh, you know, get a 10. But I, I just don't know how PSA will look at that. I don't, I, again, just don't know. But the last card concluding our submission will be a Zion Williamson base mosaic. And looking over this card, I actually give this card a nine. Uh, I think there was one, um, I'm trying to see where that was. It was a, like a little scratch potentially right there. I'm not sure if that'll buff out. I may try to clean it one more time just to see, but when I was, I was trying to clean it, 
just for this submission preview. I really I couldn't get that off, so that could be that could knock it down to a nine. Uh, but I'm still seeing this one in. Uh, I think even though with a, a PSA nine Zion Williamson rookie card, that card can still hold its hold pretty good value. Not not what a ten would obviously, but I think uh, you know in the near future a lot of people will start investing in PSA nines. So I think. You know, it wouldn't be a smart idea, guys, if you guys are sending in cards at all. Wouldn't be a bad idea if you if you think it's not going to gem and it could get a nine. A nine's not the bad, the worst thing in the world at this point in time. The way the card game is going, you know, a lot of people's going PSA ten, PSA ten. You know, that's that should be the eBay search anymore. Zion Williamson PSA ten. That's what people look for, and, and you know, rightfully so. They they should look for the perfect card, but I think it's going to come to a point here before too long. It's going to be, it, uh, and not everybody can afford PSA tens, so they're going to start jumping on the PSA nines. I, I really, I really do think that's going to be a thing for the future. So that's one of these cards. This is kind of an investment. I think I'm going to send this in. If it gets a nine, I'll be happy with that. Honestly, I mean, if it gets a ten, obviously I'd be ecstatic. But I mean, if it gets a nine, I'm not going to be upset about that because I think that's the way the card game is going to go in the next couple of years. I really do think a lot of people is going to – the PSA 10s is going to be not affordable for players. You know, players like these Zions and, you know, stuff like this John Morant, uh, you know, Tyler Heroes. I think they're going to be not really affordable. So, I think it wouldn't be a bad idea, guys. Again, if you guys have got cards, you kind of are on the fence. You think it might get a 9 or a 10, kind of on the fence about it. Send it in. It, it, you know, I think that could be a smart idea for a, a PSA 9 for a long-term investment. Um, again, a lot, a lot of new people is jumping into the game right now. They're not going to be able to afford a PSA 10 card on all, on certain cards, you know, that they want. Maybe a Zion Williamson Prism PSA or Silver PSA uh, 10 is going for, you know, $1,600, $1,700, maybe even more. I don't know for sure. Uh, but then at 9, they could look in there and be like, well, this is a 9, you know. I'll, I'll take the chance on that, and it'll be, it may be $700 or, or $800 or something, and maybe they can afford that instead of $1,600, and it's cutting, ha you know, half in cost, and I think, I, I really think that's not a bad idea, guys, if you guys got, you think can cars can get some 9s or 10s, send them in, uh, it, it wouldn't hurt for sure, and PSA, maybe you could be generous and give you a 10 on a card, you think you that'll get a 9, I've seen that happen before, uh, many times, really, uh, just really to determine, like, the population reports, and to kind of, uh, you know, uh, do that. They they kind of just um, sending you know people send in cards and they'll get nines just for the pop report P on, on PSAs in. So I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll see what these cards get. But I got guys. I've had these wrote down here on the side. I did a little preview here. You guys can see if you guys want to go back and I, and for me personally going back to look at these. Um, here's all my grades. I think you'll that I think they'll get. And uh, disregard my handwriting because I'm not the best writer in the world, but. Uh, it gets the job done, and I can actually read it. So, that being said, guys, this is another uh, edition of Blues Collectibles, and I'm Blue. Um, PSA submission preview. I think this will be number two for my YouTube video. I've had a PSA submission one, um, which I sent that out with my buddy Jordan and Gentry, and we should be getting our cards back. You know, who knows? It was a 45 day order, so I'm sure PSA's backed up to the, you know, backed up to the max right now. So we'll see when we get those. Maybe next year. But, guys, this is Blue. I'm signing out for the evening, and we'll see you guys back in the next video. Appreciate you guys watching. And also, too, before I sign out, um, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Blues Collectibles. It's just spelled out all in one word, Blues Collectibles, and you'll find me on there. I post, you know, post card breaks here, like I said, on this channel. Uh, blind reveals for SEC and PSA. Um, breaks card breaks and things of that nature and appreciate you guys i've got i think i'm up to 111 i'm subscribers right now so really appreciate you guys the support and that but until then guys blue signing out